Which way? But Annabelle's missing. Your sister? Annabelle's not my sister. She's a goose. Dad's offering a reward for her safe return. Wait, Tony! I'll help! <laughs> Look out for patches of orange saliva, Lucian. Spitting geese usually leave a trail. They're very aggressive. You can't be scared of everything, Lucian. There's our Annabelle, tucked up safe and sound next to the tractor engine. They like it there, where it's warm and greasy. Well, that's a relief. It would be if the rest of the flock hadn't gotten missing. This is the work of a goose snapper for sure. Sure thing. Uh, take a look if you really think your geese might be in there. Hello, Mr. Parsons. I found a flock of lost geese, and I just wondered if there might be a reward or something. I've never heard of rewarding a goose snapper before. I really did find them, Mr. Parsons. I, I just put them in my room for, um, safekeeping. You're not just a goose snapper, boy. You're a liar. Now, you can't call my son a liar. That's his good boy voice, and I, I know he's telling the truth. You don't know Diddley. <laughs> Stolen any geese lately? <laughs> now, Otto, I don't know what you are. Oh! <laughs> These posters say I'm a goose snapper. Know anything about them? Of course I know about them. I put them up. Boss says I got a right to protect innocent goose herders from people like you. My picture's all over town. Hey! How come it's not my picture? I'm the one who should be famous! In! You are infamous if you do something bad when you... They were geese. What's so bad about it? Mom, Tony thinks we should... Tony? <gasps> oh, I don't want to hear another word about Tony. You're too caught up with that swamp kid. You're not allowed to see him anymore. <gasps> no, I'm sorry I ever let those sudheads move in. We should all keep our distance from soap folk in the future. And that goes for you too, Tony. Don't try to come across, Lucian. 
My dad set traps for goosenappers. So, he's created a no man's land, has he? Well, two can play at that game. Swamp water is not clean, and you should know better than to be playing in it. I wasn't playing. This whole thing is so stupid. Can't we just talk to the Parsons and try to get back to normal? Don't listen to him, Mom! Girl Pants has been perspiring with the enemy! Conspiring? You mean conspiring with the enemy? See, he even admits it! No, I don't! Let's look at the evidence, shall we? Swamp mud! <laughs> Best place you can think of to meet, Tony? It stinks. Sorry, Lucian, but my dad's keeping an eye on the swamp. You didn't have to come barefoot. My mom confiscated my shoes for sanitization. Remember you putting that trap there. <laughs> I knew better than to trust you not to try and see your little soap sucker friend. Nobody will think you're looking for us here, Tony. This is Wayne's territory. They know I hate this place. <laughs> Tractor hood, Lucian. Dress down. It's greasy and warm. Tony. I won't fit under the tractor hood, Tony. I found a better place to meet. Lucian. Hmm, this looks like a ground horse for a Lucian. It's perfect, isn't it? I don't think there's anything living here now. No? Then what are these droppings? <gasps> ground boars? No, voles. Ew, that's all right. Voles are cute and cuddly. Not when you disturb their young, they're not. Uh, uh... <laughs> it's not like Lucian to stay out this late and not say anything. Stop making a fuss and dish up the grub. That's probably him now. Him? What do you want? Tony's missing. I'm offering a reward for a safe return. Unless, of course, you've kidnapped him. We're in the same boat, Mr. Parsons. Lucian's missing, too. I told you their kid would be behind this, didn't I? To our kid? Tony's the one who leads Lucian astray. What difference does it make? They're both gone. Get over it. Soon we won't even remember who they were. Nothing but good can come of this. <laughs> Best thing to do is lie down and play dead. <laughs> now they think we're fooled. This looks like their trail. Look, Seth. Vole droppings. Tony! We're in here, Mom! Be careful, Mr. Crab. There are voles. But aren't voles cute little critters? Dad, is that you? I'm coming, Lucian! Okay, come out quick, boys. It's safe. Mr. Krabs drawn the angry critters away. <laughs> You're a brave man for a soap sucker, Mr. Krabs. Can Tony and I be friends again now? Friends? Of course you can be friends. Hello? Anybody home? 
to me, aren't you? You don't count. <sighs> oh, you're not still thinking about that girlfriend thing. Of course I am. I'm ten years old and I'm already on the shelf. You're being overdramatic, Lucian. Someone will go out with you. One day. I even would if it would stop you sulking like a baby. Wow. Oh, thanks, Mari. Lucian Crap! Why the smile? The test isn't meant to be fun! Mari, Mari, you're so starry! I love you, Nier! I love you, Mari! And what does this have to do with anything? <clears throat> I'm pleased to announce that from today, Mari and I will officially be girlfriend and boyfriend. <gasps>
Dad is just learning on the car crusher. This whole girl thing's crapping their style. Look, Wayne, more candy. <laughs> Mademoiselle. Don't be stupid. I've already got slime up to my knees. It'll be worth it, Mari. The most romantic spot in the swamp. Underneath the heart-shaped leaves of the love tangle tree. It's the perfect place to make out. What do you mean, make out? Well, we have to kiss and stuff since we're going out. Don't be gross! <laughs> My friend first, junk girl! You can't just buy me off with a box of candy! Okay, I bought! I guess the love tangle leaves aren't out yet. <laughs> no, but the bugs sure are. Wilson! <laughs> should have a boyfriend. I should! Not geek, girl! Worms are wrinkled. The girl I love now is Wendy Winkle. Whoa! Wendy forced me to write that poem, Mari. There were worms at stake. Look, I'll prove it. No! Lucian, don't! Wendy, my heart belongs to one girl only, Mari. I don't want to go out with you, Wendy. Wendy, I know it's hard, but you don't need me. You can be fulfilled as a single rounded individual. I can't believe I've been dumped by someone so sad, ugly, and pathetic! Sorry, Lucian, but can't I just be fulfilled as a single rounded individual, too? What? Mari? What are you saying? I'm saying I'm dumping you? It was more fun just being friends. Wait! Come back! Ha ha ha! Told you! 
just sad pants. Girls don't like worm boys. Yeah? What about you, Wayne? Where's your girlfriend? Nowhere! I'm a fun-filled, round-head individual! The kind that doesn't need them! Don't you listen to anything? You don't need no stupid girlfriend, Joe! You're a foam-filled, round-leg individual! Tell Greta to go back to Blasford! <sighs> She's already gone! Had to get back for a shift at the... Chocolate factory. Can you teach me to crush cars now? <sighs> okay, Wayne. Cool! Hang on! <laughs> oh, sugar! <laughs> oh, I miss you too! Oh, uh, hang on a moment. He doesn't come back later, Wayne. Uh, I'm busy. Sorry, Crusher Queen. Oh, not more candy. Uh...